Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack and this is my YouTube channel, Life in Motion. It's all about cars and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, I haven't been around for a couple of months and sorry about that. Uh, things have happened for everyone. I know it's a very difficult time at the moment, but I hope you're all staying safe. Things have started to change in the UK and things have started to relax a little bit with what we can and can't do outside of the house and in public. And as part of that, behind the scenes, outside of work, I've bought a classic car. Now, I've always wanted to buy one before. I've already got the, the Porsche 718 Cayman, which is kind of my daily car that I use every day. But I've always wanted a Mini. I had one a little while ago. I had a 1998 Mini uh, about three, four years ago. And ever since, I've regretted selling it. So, what I've bought is a 1997 Rover Mini Cooper. Let's have a look. So yes, here is my 1997 Rover Mini Cooper. It's in British Racing Green. It's the Cooper Sports Pack. So it's got uh, slightly bigger arches. It's got the nice Cooper wheels. Uh, it's obviously got, you can see the bonnet stripes of the John Cooper logo on the side. Uh, it has got a Union Jack and it's got some other bits. So let's have a little look. But let me just flip you around. All right. So first of all, why did I want a classic Mini? Well, first of all, look at them. They are so, so cool. Obviously, we all know about Italian job, and I had one, and I loved it. Honestly, if you haven't driven a Mini before, a classic Mini like this, uh, go and jump in one if you can, because they are fantastic. They are going up in value. They are appreciating. Uh, this was bought for more than when I bought my original car, uh, which, is a real, which is a real frustration, but that's obviously how the market goes, and they are appreciating. So hopefully, with the work I'm going to do to it, it will appreciate, and I will make, at least, not maybe not make money, but I'll at least uh, break even with the work I've done. So let's jump in and have a little look. So. This car, when I bought it, it has about 50-ish, 53,000 miles on it. Um, it's, again, as I said, a Mini Cooper, a Rover Mini Cooper sports pack, so it has some different interior bits inside. But if we have a look at the front of the car, you've got the very iconic four spotlights at the front, um, which I think was an option. Um, obviously, you've got the chrome bumpers, which always look nice. Uh, it's funny, if you look at a modern car compared to, for example, older cars, chrome is such a big thing with older cars, classic cars, which they aren't in, uh, in modern cars, which is, which is always nice. So it's nice to see that. Obviously, you've got the bonnet stripes going out the front with a little mini logo, which obviously is totally different to the BMW Mini that if you've seen my channel before, you know I have, I've had a, uh, a John Cooper Works, but a new one, it was a, a 2015 one, which was totally different to this car. Going around to the sides, you've got what I think are 13 inch, 13 inches, which I think you can get a bigger pizza, but 13 inch little Cooper Sport wheels there, they're alloys. Um, around the side again you've got the slightly bigger arches which look nice they flare out a little bit uh, again British Racing Green and you've got the John Cooper Works sort of logo and then moving around to the back of the car you've got what well, this is actually a really nice little add-on it's like a little petrofilla cap that covers it so it's just a nice little retro touch that looks nice um, at the back you've got a GB sticker which I don't really like and you've got the Cooper Sport badge now it's not a Cooper Sport it's a Cooper Sports pack so actually I don't think that badge should be there so I'm going to get rid of that um, I'm going to get a new number plate for it. I'm probably going to keep it original number plate. I like I like the history that comes with number plates um, on, on older cars, so I'm going to keep that. Um, but I am just going to get it tidied up and get a newer one. Uh, and also the exhaust. I think the exhaust looks nice. Um, it's, I think, an upgraded one from the standard one. The standard one was really, really small. This is a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to sand it down, uh, and then obviously kind of re-chrome re it, as it were, just polish it up and make it look really, really nice. Um, you've got a little fog light on the back there. Uh, but... Just as a, a comparison, let me just put this car next to my Porsche and I'll show you how small it is. So yes, if you don't know, this is my 2018 uh, Porsche Cayman, which I use uh, every day, uh, back and forth from the shops and work and everything I do. So that's kind of my daily car. But if I just put it next to it, look how small the car already looks against it. If I just come out, it's absolutely tiny. I mean, look at the bonnet. You can see the bonnet, how big it is compared to how big the Porsche is. Honestly, this car is so, so small. It's comical how small this car is. So what we will do is just jump inside. Oh, again, there is there is actually central locking on this car, which was not standard, um, which is on the little fob thing here, um, which you have to do yourself. You have to disarm the alarm, which is basically the immobiliser, otherwise it would just start the alarm going off. But this is the inside, and oh my God, it is awesome. So. 
Let me just run you through. On a Cooper Sports Pack, you get these black leather seats with the little Mini Cooper logo in the middle there, which looks really, really nice. And you've got kind of cream piping, which is why I've got a cream uh, gear, little gear gated bit here and also around the, around the handbrake, but it needs to be replacing. But yeah, walnut. Walnut on the side of the door cards here on the dash. Obviously all on here and obviously the, yeah, on here and here. Steering wheel. Another thing you'll think is that this steering wheel is, is flat like a bus. It's not upwards like, like a normal car would be in, in my kind of head. Uh, it's actually kind of flat. So actually you have to drive like that, which is, which is really, really funny to get used to. It's, it's just so weird. Um, you've got, again, really super simple stuff. A little glove box, which looks hilarious. It's tiny, doesn't really fit anything. Uh, obviously you've got your three dials in the middle there. Uh, and down here you've got all your different controls and things. Uh, and in the middle, we've just got your normal dials. We've got miles per hour you've got some fuel and obviously your heating and cooling in there your um, oil temperature and on the right you've got your rev counter which goes up to 6000 rpm which is cool and you can actually adjust the headlight uh, level which is just you know for this kind of car it's pretty cool um and basically in here that's it really yes you have got things like fog lights um hazards and also you have got a heater and cooler you actually push it in for cold and you pull it out for hot which yeah I mean, honestly, it's such such simple technology in here, and it's just a fan basically. It's, it's nothing more than that. And in the back, again, they're tiny. You know, tiny little seats. Have got speakers under there, which aren't standard, and I think I am going to get rid of. We don't want those in here. And actually, uh, on the headline, I'm going to replace the headlining to make that look a little bit nicer. But yeah, inside again, the cabin is so small. And I think one of the best things about being in a mini is just how characterful you feel and, and also how kind of engaged you are the road. What I am going to do is start the car and you guys can hear how wicked this 1275cc, basically a 1.3 litre engine sounds. I'm just going to put the key in. The alarm's not on, so ready? Let's give it a go. So cool! Now, the car isn't perfect. There are a lots of bits and bits I need to do with it. You probably would have seen kind of a lot of what looked like moisture, water, whatever it may be coming out of the exhaust. And also a bit of smoke. The car needs tuning. The engine needs a little bit of a tuning. Probably a service kind of clean up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get that nice and sorted. And also the exhaust pipe itself just needs, I think, a, a bit of a clean through and maybe a replacement if I feel like it needs to. Maybe a little bit louder. I don't know. I want to keep it stock. I want to keep it original, but I want to give it a bit more character. I want to put the character back into the car. I'm going to do another video which is going to go through all the bits and bobs I want to do with the car because as I said it's not perfect you know there are bits on the bodywork which I need to do there are obviously engine bits I want to do but I just wanted to give you guys a show round of the car just a quick first kind of glance just to explain a little bit more about why I bought it as well I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and also just comment below and tell me what you think about the car um, I'm really glad I've got the, the Porsche as well as the Mini, so I don't have to ruin that car. I can keep it nice, keep it in the garage, keep it clean and charged and serviced nicely, and obviously not put too many miles on it. As I said, they are appreciating. It is an investment for me. I put my own money into it. I haven't you know, financed or, or put a bank loan. I just bought the car, and I want to make sure I keep that investment safe, as, as, as safe as I can be. So I'm so glad I got it. I, I really, really am, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I am going to do more videos of the car, the next one probably be about explaining what's wrong with the car, a big old long list of things I need to do with it. And over the course of the next kind of weeks, months, and probably years, uh, but let's say weeks and months time, because I want to get it done, um, I will document the bits and bobs I'm doing. Um, you know, from engine work, underneath the body, through to paint work and interior and, and everything. I'm going to go through the whole car. And also, I won't forget, I'm going to get the Porsche back on the channel uh, and really, really enjoy that. But for now, I will talk to you very, very soon. I've got the time.